What's up guys, welcome to my very first what's in the bag video. I'm gonna talk about all the hockey gear that I wear every single game. And you know what, let's start with talking about this, this whole area. This is my little training corner. I got it set up with uh, this nice locker. Got my name on it and I can keep it nice and organized. We got sprays, deodorizers, very necessary. Got some of my old gear here. This is actually uh, my mitts that I wore back in the day. Oh, I wore those in the... Yes. It's gear to testing video. In the vintage gear, uh, the Nike, Nike Bowers with Nike made hockey equipment. Over here, I've got my little uh, pegboard set up. So I got my hockey tape, easy to grab, keep things somewhat organized. So I like that little setup. And then here, got a little stick rack, uh, keep a few twigs in there. And then also behind me, of course, I got more sticks. I got some old vintage stuff, the, uh, the Easton aluminum. We use that in the, uh, the vintage gear video. Got a Tovey here, but most of my daily drivers I just keep right here or right at the door so I can grab them on the way out. In the Palisade. Yeah, I can't keep them in the vehicle. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need a stick, especially in the winter, you use it to clear the snow off the window. <laughs> Let's hop into the pond pack first. This is great. Uh, coaching bag is where I keep all my stuff. So I have my coaching skates, and then in here I've got my, my player skates, both these bags from Pacific Rink. And the reason I have coaching skates and uh, playing skates is so that I don't end up grabbing these, putting them in here, going coaching, and I show up to the game without my skates. It happens once, you never want it to happen again. So, so you bought another pair? <laughs> CCM may have hooked me up with a, another pair. But I mean, even when I was a kid, I always had a pair of pond skates. You know, whatever uh, I grew out of, I would use those on the pond. Right. I had my player skates. Yeah, that's true. It's the worst thing ever when you show up without your skates because you were just playing on the pond with your friends or something. Let's take a look in here. I guess I'm supposed to show the actual gear. So, ooh, a little surprise here. These are the uh, the CCM SuperTax AS1s. And you see on the bottom, I got the Mars Blade holder. So the, this is an innovative design by Mars Blades where, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the blade actually flexes or, or pivots. You can kind of see it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you see it a bit. Based on the Mars Blades, uh, they're bringing it to the ice. So I've just been testing these out. It's got a little thing you can uh, swap the blade out and you can swap out these inserts. So look for a full video on the Mars Blade holders soon. I'm testing them out now. Those are my coaching skates. Woo, coaching Ooh. helmet. Uh, CCM tossed me this one. It's uh, the one that Austin Matthews and uh, a lot of the NHL players are wearing. It's fully custom 3D printed. You can see that uh, kind of web inside. So the foam has this honeycomb web shape to it and it's super comfortable. It's breathable. Look at that custom. CCM how to hockey. Mm. Not cheap. <laughs> Not a cheap helmet, but I, I do plan to do a full review uh, video on that later on. And then of course they got you know the uh, the skate jacket, got the the gloves. This oh. key for the coaches, the glove whistle. <whistles> ah. <whistles> right, bottom hand on comes up <whistles> on the line <whistles> again. <whistles> Two laps, let's go. That's that's your coaching clinic right there. That's all you need to know. <laughs> so that's that's um, from Fox Forty. And I do tape it on because this little thing, it catches in your jacket pocket, flies out, it's on the ice. I secured that on with some extra tape to make sure that never comes off when I'm mid coaching. Cause uh, looks funny when you have to skate around the ring to try to find your whistle. Are they both the AS ones? Yeah, I got the match. <laughs> <ones. laughs> not, not bad. A little bit of a uh, wearage right there on the palm for coaching gloves. You know, don't wear them through them too quickly. Mostly just pushing pucks around and blowing whistles. You know? We've got some other junk uh, here. You know, you're playing in the pond. You got to have the uh, the flappy hat. Right. Right. This is uh, there we go. Crucial for those cold winters when you're playing hockey. Keep the cheeks warm. This is nice if you have like a coaching binder. You throw it right in the back. Extra pockets here. You can fit a water bottle in there. Let's talk about what I wear during the game. Uh, we'll start right over here with these shoulder pads uh, from CCM. They're perfect condition because I have never worn them. CCM sent me a full protective uh, set like three years ago, but no shoulders in the men's league. I don't know, I, I feel I've just never really needed them. I've taken the odd puck or, or something, but um, let's go with the pants. These are uh, CCM Super Tax. These are probably like five years old. My pants before these were from when I played midget hockey. So when I was like 17 years old and I just never planned to replace them. Uh, one time I threw them in the wash and they got all torn up. Like I think I put some bleach in and it destroyed the foam inside the pants. And I, it didn't really bother me, I still wore them. 
Um, but I went to a game and I'd forgotten my hockey pants. Oh. And it was longer to drive home to get my pants and there was only five minutes before the game started. So I drove to the hockey store, replaced them with these because my ones were kind of worn out anyways. Gave me a reason. So that's why I got those ones. Uh, we got shin pads. I have no idea what make or model these are. Uh, they're Bowers, Bauer Vapor. Bauer Vapor Riet. Yeah, and, and that's about it. Uh, <laughs> Aero Light. Um, there's a left and a right. Does the Velcro still work? That's all that matters. Yes, and that actually, it's funny. So the pair I had before these were like missions also from when I was like 17 years old. I bought them, wore them for a good 10 years. Maybe Those look longer. like they're too small for you. They might be. Like, I feel like you probably need a One size longer. up. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, so, so with my previous pair, I needed to replace them because the Velcro had worn right off. Um, but instead of actually buying new shin pads, I went to Fabricland, I bought Velcro and I sewed it on <laughs> and I got another like three or four years. Oh, um, nice. But eventually I took a slap shot and exploded, or I, I blocked a shot, it exploded my shin pads. And I was like, you know what, maybe, you know, Velcro wearing out, the plastic is really brittle. I should probably get a new pair, so. Going to elbow pads. Uh, also CCM, I think uh, I bought these because I went to play in a tournament uh, and I had forgot my, my elbow pads at home and my old pairs also from when I played, you know, like uh, when I was 17 years old and I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll buy some elbow pads because I don't want to play in a hockey tournament without elbow pads. I think I was like, uh, I flew to Vancouver or something like that to play. Uh, so yeah, I bought these at one of the stores there. I like them, nice. CCM 6052 with the D3O technology. Uh, the thing that I didn't like about the elbow pads early on they made some, I don't know if they still do, but like they were this hard plastic, super huge. Like I like- Mine are bit, way bigger than those, yeah. Yeah, I, I did not like that massive. Um, I had just like thin uh, elbow pads and like a little bit of foam. Actually, I probably should have uh, gotten those because is that the one that's broken? I don't know. Is there a scar on it? Yes. <laughs> okay, then that was the one that broke. <laughs> um, I was playing, uh, I think I was 17 years old. I, I threw a body check and I uh, went right through the guy and then landed on the ice Ooh. on my elbow with my elbow pads on, not these ones, and still broke my elbow. <laughs> so I probably should have had better protection. Um, and I continued to play the rest of the game. I didn't even know it was broken uh, until I took a slap shot and I was like, ooh, that really hurt. And then, uh, between the second and third, my friend's like, dude, your elbow, it's bleeding. I was like, no, it's not. And I put my elbow pad back on. Okay. <laughs> Should have listened to him. Aim skates. Yes, skates. Super tax, the AS ones. I think they're the same as my coaching skates. Oh, except these ones are uh, the custom. Got my hockey number right there. Oh, nice. Uh, size 10 and D width. Is they have the Mono Frame 360 technology with the AS1 intro. No, they have the sweat hole. <laughs> the sweat hole. The booty hole. It's <laughs> worth the extra $200. What I like about the uh, higher end skates, Bauer, CCM, True, whatever, doesn't really matter. The, uh, the composite, it's the composite boot. And what happens is when you bake them, this live composite actually wraps around your foot as well. So it's like the inside and the outside of the skate molds to your feet. So it gives you a really nice custom fit or you can pay extra for like the full custom. This video is brought to you by my receding hairline. Actually, this video is brought to you by Keeps. Keeps offers generic versions of FDA approved medications for hair loss, which makes it more affordable. Two out of three men will start to lose their hair by the age of 35, including me. Look at that beautiful hair I used to have. But the earlier you take action, the more hair you keep. Keeps is a full service healthcare company focused exclusively on helping men keep their hair. From expert diagnosis to affordable treatment, patient support to education, Keeps provides a regimen specific to each customer's condition through a seamless digital experience, allowing men to manage hair loss from start to finish. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash coach Jeremy or click the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com slash coach Jeremy. What else we got in here? We got a whole bunch of jerseys. So these are the teams I play for. This is uh, the Toe Dragons. Mm -hmm. Yes, clip. it's probably the best. Hockey. Name. It's a good name, yeah. Comment your team's hockey name in the comments section, uh, whether it's a men's league team or just your minor hockey team. Let me know who you play for. I play for the Toe Dragons. Uh, number 10, I'm actually number eight, but um, number 10 was taken. Or, <laughs> but I guess eight was taken, so I went with 10. Uh, Pavel Bure is number who was my favorite player growing up, uh, which takes me to my next jersey. Not that one. 
I've got too many jerseys. You've got extras for... Yeah, it's not that one. I put <laughs> these all in at the beginning of the year, so everyone on the team had one, and I just haven't taken them out yet. This is mine for uh, the old paint cans. You guys have seen the videos on YouTube. And there's my hockey number right there, number eight. Because I made this team, I got the number I wanted. And that needs a cleaning. <laughs> What else we got in here? We got some, uh, some fancy socks. <laughs> no, like dirty. Clear. Oh, for sure they are, yes. What I do, actually, there's gonna be like a lot of, of socks. Oh, God. See how many pairs of socks. You know what, it's a good time to clean my bag here. Oh, uh, it looks don't, like don't a show the, the end. Hey, there. no, that's not mine. I don't know how those got in there. I show up to hockey and I play in my socks and then I take my socks off because they're disgusting and I throw them in the bottom of my bag and then I wear no socks home. And, and that's what happens. And you get a new pair for the next game. <laughs> and I just leave them in there, which probably adds to the odor. But I do air my gear out when I get home, so it doesn't really smell that bad. But it's not that bad. <laughs> As the cans are rattling in the back. <laughs> Those are um, pop cans in there. Uh, speaking of beverages, got some, uh, some bio steel in there. Yeah, no sugar and we went on a nice 3-0 run once I introduced BioSteel to our team. I replaced water with BioSteel. So. Hmm. This is a... Oh, yeah. The Post Melons. Uh, a buddy of mine, he designs jerseys and, uh, and sells them. Uh, so this is one of his creations. And I went with uh, Circles, 0-0. Zero, zero. Thank you. <laughs> and the best part about this is that it was a full set. Oh, and the, the pant covers too. Yes. yes. There's a pant cover and, and hockey socks. We and took a that. photo, you and I. Yeah, I'm going to toss it on. Yeah. My hockey gloves, uh, these are the CCM FT1s, and they are confusingly similar to the AS ones. There are times when I'm airing my gear out and also have my coaching gear, and then I mix up the gloves, and then I'll show up with like, you know, one of each. Um, as long as I have a left and a right, I don't really care. But One it, time you showed up with two rights or something, right? Yes. So I had to wear uh, one of these and one of like your extra clubs that were like way too big for me. Right. These are the FT1s. I really don't have a preference in which I play in, but I've used these more in a game. You can see the, it's worn out there. Uh, What's that orange thing on the other? Orange thing? <laughs> oh, that's the D3 O foam. Oh, it's worn through a bit. Yeah, from all the uh, me punching yeah. people when the ref isn't looking and stuff, it really right. wears out the foam. So. Yeah, you yeah. should try using the other hand to even it out. Yeah, yeah. or like do some slaps or something. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> some kicks. What else we got in here? Um, ooh, this is important. I like the Old Spice. Uh, it's fully eight. Yeah, and, and a good trick, because I always, or I used to always leave it in the shower, right? So I always pop it open and do a squirt in the hand. And, and it doesn't it get wet. In. Yeah, and then I throw it back in the bag and I carry that. So you, you don't bring this into the shower with you. Because everyone else will use it. Well, <laughs> but that's the other thing. You go through it, oh, you got some shit, oh, right? So you, you pull it out, quick, sneak up, and then throw it in there so no one sees it. And then you take just that to the shower. The only weird thing you do is that you put it on your head and start lathering it before you even I, go into the I put it on the, the bench while I'm chatting with yeah, the we're, boys. We're like talking and he's lathering. And, and I stare people in the eyes like this while I'm doing it. I'm like, yeah, oh, really? <laughs> So where'd you go on vacation again? Oh, nice. Tell me more about that, Steve. What about like hockey tape or yeah, scissors or anything? I, I got or wax or. I do wish I had a little kit that had everything like organized. I do not have that, but that's something, you know, great Christmas present for Sammy if she watches this video. I think there's hockey tape in here. I don't know what all these things are. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's also uh, sunflower seeds in there. There used to be a lot more. I uh, had a mouse that decided <laughs> over the summertime, uh, we had like a one month off hockey or whatever, and I went to grab my bag and it was filled, filled with sunflower seeds. And uh, you think I would have washed it after that? And I didn't, <laughs> I, I intended to, I fully had full intentions to clean it out and I haven't yet, but um, I will. In you the do I'm gonna clean out my bag for the... <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know what, this, this is my incentive. I've already come this far, I might as well get all the socks out and clean this thing up. Uh, so that's the In The Bag video. Should I talk about my hockey stick? Let's talk about twigs and hockey stick. What do I use, to be honest? Um, pretty much whatever stick a company sends me, I'll just you know take it for a test drive and if I like it, I'll keep using it. So these are a few. I do have, I guess, my specs. I like an 85 flex, I'm around 190 pounds. Here, hold that up. These are a few that I've been using recently. There's also a CCM Trigger 5 Pro, I believe, that I got in the vehicle that I just didn't feel like going and getting. Um, 
But yeah, I, I like the 85 flex, I'm 190 pounds. I usually go with the P92, which is you know a more moderate toe curve. I like something just like in the middle, not too crazy. But I have tried the P28 and I don't mind it. Um, but I think if I were to stick with one curve, I'd go P92. Uh, but I can pretty much grab any curve pattern and, uh, and, and rock it. Uh, I'm pretty good at adapting. My, the height of my twig, I like to have it just under my uh, chin when I'm on my skate, so right about there is, is the height that I like. Okay, I'm gonna show socks, man. <laughs> <laughs> just a nice, comfortable level for stick handling with not, it's not too short where I lose that reach. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I go for. So this one's the Sherwood Code V, and then we got the uh, the CCM Jet Speed. And to be honest, uh, usually whatever stick is just closest to the door when I'm heading out is the one that I grab. Um, but I've also been using that uh, CCM Trigger Pro, which I did like. But I mean, with the, the high-end sticks, I haven't really noticed a huge difference. Anything that would keep me like, I will only use this stick. Sherwood makes a high-end stick, I try it, it's good. CCM makes a high-end stick, I try it, it's good. Bauer, True, it's like any of those top of the line sticks. They're light, they got good flex, nice pop to them. I haven't really found one where I'm like, I will never use it, another stick again. So yeah, good, a good high-end compass stick, I'm happy. Now it kind of looks like uh, I could use a new tape job for this twig, so you know what, maybe I'm gonna do that now. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning into the video, guys. And if you want to see more hockey videos, oh, it's really tough to get on. Usually, oh yeah, yeah. If you want to see more uh, videos, hit that subscribe button. We're making new hockey videos every single week. And if you want to improve your hockey skills, join us on the pond. We've got easy to follow training courses that'll help you improve your hockey skills. And we're working on some really cool programs that you can just follow along through the summertime. And uh, you're, you'll come back next season, like twice as good. Working on your shooting and your stick handling. So check out the pond and hit that subscribe button. New hockey videos every single week. I'm gonna tape this twig, later.